I have set out on a mission to convince everyone in the construction industry to ditch the paper blueprints and go digital. Everyone, big companies and small companies, residential, commercial, civil, you can all benefit from this change and it's time to jump in and do it. In a previous video, I showed you how to get started in about 60 seconds. I used an app from Fieldwire, which is a Hilti company, because it's really easy to use and anyone can jump in and start using it immediately. Just going digital, just the simple act of switching from paper blueprints to digital drawings has enough benefits to make it worth it. But the benefits build quickly when you put the entire on-site team into a system like Fieldwire so that you are not only using digital drawings, but you're all using the same shared set of digital drawings at the same time. In the video where I introduce this, I talked about how easy it becomes to keep everyone on site using the correct version of the drawings, because we all know we're going to get plan revisions during the course of the project. In another video, I talked about using the same system to digitize your RFI workflow and showed you how embedding that information right on the digital drawings can also be a huge help in keeping the field crews informed so that we avoid rework. Now I want to address another one of my pet peeves and show you how going digital can really improve your issue tracking on the project. In this case, by issue tracking, I'm talking about punch list or snag list items. I've been in the industry for a long time and I really don't think these things are going away. Even if we eliminate rework caused by having the incorrect information, things still get damaged on the project and owners and architects are still going to walk the project and see small things they want changed. Making this go away is probably not realistic, but what we can do is make sure these issues don't all end up having to be addressed in a mad scramble at the end of the project. That pages long punch list that requires half the trades on the project to complete and is holding up final payment is a real pain for everyone, and there is a better way. In my shared digital drawing scenario, I can use a feature called tasks to create what I like to call an active punch list, a list that lives for the duration of the project that is almost effortless to maintain and that can be a huge help in avoiding return trips to the job site by all of the trades. Using this feature, I can have anyone or even everyone walking the job site to identify issues that need to be corrected. I can do it in minutes and I don't have to make notes in the field and then sit down at the end of the day to transfer the information to a report or an official list and I don't have to manually follow that up with emails. Instead, as I walk the project and I see an issue, I'll just pull out my phone and open the Fieldwire app. In this case, I'll select the floor plan for level two and then just go over here, select one of these task pins and drop it right on the digital plan. I click here to give it a title, set the status to open, assign it to the drywall repair category, and then I can assign this directly to the drywall crew leader and to as many watchers as I want. These watchers are typically my superintendent and field engineers. Now I can add comments to this task to describe it or request a cost, and I can even attach an existing photo or take a new one with the tablet or phone that I'm using right now, all without ever having to leave the app. When I'm satisfied, I tap to return to the plan view and walk away. In the background, what the app did as soon as I added the task to the plan was to notify the drywall contractor of the issue, in this case that a repair is needed. It also added the task to a running list so that I don't have to, and I can print the list for my weekly meetings or sort it by trade and email it out from the app if my trades need a reminder. And look at the report that it generates. It shows me where on the plan the issue occurs. It prints my photo. All of the information is here, and I didn't have to do anything. Now, I called this an active list, so let me show you what I mean by that the drywall company can actually submit their cost right here on the issue page. In this case, they didn't cause the damage and they should get paid for the repair. They also get alerted immediately, so if they're still on the site, they can handle it before they leave or the next time they plan on coming back, possibly avoiding a special trip and any mad rush in the last days of the project. 
When they're done, they can mark this as completed in the issue page, which notifies me and my project engineer. One of us can go inspect the work, add comments, and then reopen the issue, make a few edits, and assign it to the painter. All of these edits are tracked here in the task pin window, so I can always follow the status and see who's making edits and interacting with the task. All of this takes very little effort compared to the old analog processes. It saves time and money and helps me avoid the mad rush to complete all the punch list items at the end of the project. But you can only do this if you ditch the paper blueprints and go digital. If you haven't done that yet, please give it a try today.